my lovely leather ladies and lads. <gasps> Hello from Lily Woo <laughs> and Jessica. This is Lily right here and I'm Jessica and welcome to another episode of Live from My Studio with the little Lily bird who is my helper. Can't do anything without her. You won't let me. Let's find us live. Want to find us live here? Let's see who else is here following us. If you join us, please say hello. Oh, there we are. Look, I can see us. Want to make it big so we can see the comments? We can see who's here. We can see the comment. You're looking at it, huh? A <laughs> good girl. All right, there you go. So, hello and live from the studio. We've got all sorts of things tonight. We've got some spring feathers. We've got a very distracted Lily. We've got some new products for me, not for you, but they're going to be for you. What else do we have, Lily? Hmm? What else? She doesn't remember. We made this whole list. We rehearsed the whole gig. Ah, ah, and now she wants to eat the leather earrings. I'm almost wondering uh, if I can give her this as a chew toy. Look at this. Isn't that beautifully tooled? Just absolutely beautifully tooled. Who's on? If you're on, say hello. That just might be me on. I might be the only one watching me. Well, as we're waiting for people to get on, let me tell you what happened today. Because those of you who watch the rerun, you'll enjoy this. Okay. So I'm sitting here doing my work, do, 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 you know, working away, and I get this message from my brother saying, you better look on your porch. And my brother's in North Carolina? What does he know about my porch? We're having a blizzard. What does he know about my porch? So I go and look on my porch, and sure enough, there's a box. Big box. Big enough for her to fit in. And it has leather pieces leather scraps like hold on like look at that beautiful gray look at this piece now this I won't be able to stain or dye or do anything with but who wants to look at how beautiful that is I'm not gonna do anything with that and then look at this one so we've got some gray leathers coming up. Those are oil tan, so I'm going to have to experiment to see. Um, this one's definitely a thick oily. We're going to have to see how well I can treat the surfaces, get some of that oil off with some alcohol or something, and see if we can get it prepped for some of the types of glazes and dyes that I use. And a painterly wet greens. Ooh, you like that? Yeah. Good quality leather. She's loving the smells of it. A new purple, which has got this fun little shape. <laughs> this looks like it's got some uh, buffalo going on right here. Look at that. Beautiful green. Very sonic. She would have loved that piece. More purple. We've seen that one. Um, got this gorgeous yellow. Look at that yellow. I mean, that's just a nice, rich, golden, beautiful, it's a Millenni side. I don't know what a Millenni is. So it must be a manufacturer name for it. It looks like it's a dual tan, as my brother calls Marie Tan. This looks like a crocodile embossed. Woo! Bang the phone. So, lots of that going on. What's over here? Now, this is a deep, deep, deep brown that almost looks black. Hello. That's going to be fun. I did say I needed more greens, didn't I? So, while we're waiting for people to join. I'm just going to show you some of these because they're amazing. Now, I recently had a... I've been looking at Lily's empty seat. Let me move this back on me. Hi. So we recently had an order for black earrings that were painted on, um, you know, painterly technique, as you know, I call it paint. It's not really paint. You can't paint leather, but we're going to call it paint to make it simple. 
Anyway, this is the leather, the black leather that I have. It is full grain. It is bumpy. It's got all sorts of things happening. And to paint any kind of detail on those bumps is a nightmare. I mean, they just paint runs into those cracks and then just runs with the cracks and takes off. So it's got to be thick enough, but then it doesn't apply. So then it's going to be thin enough. And yeah, so I was hoping once I discovered what this was, that I'd have new black in here. And of course I do. And look at it. <laughs> so this was the, the green that I said was too bumpy. And then look at this one, a little bumpy. <laughs> this is definitely a buffalo. <laughs> definitely buffalo. This is just cow. <laughs> but that's a gorgeous green. So I cannot wait to do something fun with that. Actually, I probably would go in this direction here with some nice long ones. Look at that. Wouldn't that be beautiful? Sonnet would love these. And I think Sonnet just joined us. Sonnet, you would love these. So Sonnet, I see that you've popped on. I don't see that you said hi. Um, a little trick about what I see on Facebook. Um, some of my personal friends, their bubbles will show up up in the corner, but only a couple at a time. So I only get to see a couple people. I don't know who's on unless you say hi. So I keep saying you got to hit in the comments. You got to say hi. So I know you're here. Um, I do see Sonnet there. So there she is. Sometimes I don't see it's her. She's here. You can't hear well with your new phone. Oh, until you get the new phone. Well, listen up because I got a package today in the mail. I was just talking about how I had an order for a pair of earrings with my black. And my black is so bumpy. And it was really hard to paint on and work with. But I managed. And I was thinking I really need to get new black that's smoother. Less grain. This is a full grain cow hide. And in the box came this full grain buffalo. <laughs> Look at this. Buffalo. I was complaining about this much grain. <laughs> Look at these. <laughs> but won't these, son, it will want these. Don't you think? Nice long ones. Look at that. In that direction. Nice long ones. Woo! <laughs> I cannot wait. But in there was also this cow hide. And if you can see... Very minimal grain. So now I have some. Now this is definitely, it's a retan, a dual tan. Um, this one's definitely got oil. So I'm going to have to try to dry it out a little bit without cracking it to make sure I can do some painterly things on it. I may or may not be able to, but it'll be fun to try. Let me show you what else is in this package. Let me show you what else is in this package. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, what else is in this package? What else? What else? What else? What else? Oh, I'm so excited. So excited with this. This is a bright yellow. Like, where's Jennifer? Jennifer would love this. If you're on, say hi, because I can't see who you are unless you say hi. But I see that my number went up by one. Um, showing off some of the new leathers that I will be using in the near future. These just showed up today in a box on my front porch in the middle of a blizzard. Yes, we're having a blizzard and the poor guy had to deliver these. That's a beautiful, bold pink. Another color of blue. It's a little too heavy weight to do the roses out of. This green might be good for something. It's very tattered. It looks like it's been been through a little bit. A lot of times uh, leather gets stuck in the machinery. So people buy them for a discount. And they use the good pieces. And a lot of these kind of pieces end up in scraps for me. Because people send me their scraps. And, well, I find uses sometimes. We'll see if that's salvageable. So, yeah, I just got a whole lot of really cool designs and colors and pieces and some of it's usable some of it I don't know figure it out as we go I haven't been through it all look at this beast wow 
Isn't that gorgeous? Look at that grain. Do you see that grain? That's definitely a, a buffalo. Buffalo girls, won't you come out tonight? Come out tonight. Come out tonight. Buffalo girls, won't you come out? Look at that gold. <whistles> Nothing related to Google on my phone works now. I think the FBI is. <laughs> oh, Facebook is about to go. I thought you said FBI was about to. And I was like, that's funny. Um. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with your phone. That is weird. Here's another blue. So there's yet another blue. Here's the pieces that I was looking for to show you. Look at that. Now these are pig splits. Can you hear me around the, the leather? This is a pig split in a platinum gold. It's a very, very pale gold, not gold like... This is a gold plated. So this is real gold next to it. So this is really more of a platinum gold, metallic, absolutely stunning pig split. And it also is here in silver. So we've got some silver pieces. So put the silver next to the gold piece. You can see there's a slight yellow to the gold one. Absolutely gorgeous. I cannot wait to work with those. Those will be coming in ju into jewelry very fast. Probably faster than anything else. Somebody was making straps. Buckles. Something. <laughs> and then I got these, 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 um, very firm, very heavy, um, pieces that um not really sure what I can do with this. This actually looks like it was cut for a purse. Possibly. Um look at the thickness of this one. That's definitely the kind of leather you use for a sole of a shoe. I won't be able to use that. I don't know what I'll do. I mean I'll find something to do with it. Don't get me wrong. I'm way too creative to let it sit here. And then this gorgeous piece of tooling belt came. It looks like the belt was too long and they cut it down to size. All of that hand tooled. Just absolutely gorgeous. So yeah, I um, was working today. Excuse me while I readjust myself. I was working today and my brother messages me and says, look in your porch. And I looked on my porch and there was all this new leather for me. So happy birthday to me. Woohoo! So my brother sent me a bunch of his scraps. I'm super thrilled. So speaking of him, kind of important. As you all know, I don't tool. This is what tooling is. Tooling is when you make all these little carvings and marks and whatnot on veg tan. I don't work with veg tan. I don't tool. My brother works with veg tan. My brother tools. I work with chrome tans and dual tans. And pretty much there's a couple oil tans around here. Don't tell any of the other leathers because they'll absorb the oil and wreck themselves. So we just keep them separated. Looks like the leather on the, my leather briefcase, the dark brown, possibly. I got dust in my face. Ah, okay. Um, and you're getting a new phone. Okay, I want to make sure I didn't miss anything because the comments up here don't work still. All right, so... Speaking of my brother, because he does the tooling, right now he has a small handful of tooled small American flag patches. They're, they're like big enough to put on your ball cap. They come with the Velcro back, uh, $25 each. The link is already on the Facebook page. You have to go to his original post and say in and send the money and do what the post tells you to do. And that's how you get them. Absolutely do that. He's RK Leather, Roadkill from RK Leather. And uh, go there if you like tooled things and if you like Americana things, um, which I know so many of you love Americana things. Speaking of Americana things, the red, white, and blue Freedom Feathers are all on sale right now. Go to the sale tab. They're all on sale right now. Why? Because what well, comes after spring? 
all the Freedom Feathers. So the new Freedom Feather line will be launching right after the spring line. So we just have to get through spring and we're having a blizzard. And I have a couple candles going here. So if you see light flickering, I have candles going because we're having massive out <laughs> flat power outages in the area as well. Um, a lot of fun. We're supposed to get 20 inches by the time it's done, but so far it's been under their estimated amounts per time. So hopefully we don't get a whole 20. Um, I think we'll get 10. We'll see. There was five when I woke up this morning, but it's been snowing all day. So I don't know. We could possibly have 10 by now. I just haven't looked out the windows because it, it's depressing. <laughs> Gray and dark. and <laughs> So <laughs> let's look at earrings. Who wants to look at spring earrings? Because hello, spring. I don't know, remember where we left off last week. Um, Sonny, you'll remember. Did I show you this pair? See, I'm not used to doing the Tuesday Night Lives. I'm used to doing the Thursday Night Lives, which is good because I have everything done for the week on Thursday night and be able to show you. But now I'm at the beginning of the week and I don't have everything done for the week. So now I'm trying to save the stuff from last week to bring to this week and I don't remember. So these were two inch. Do we? Did I do these? They're um, based on a butterfly wing. They have a back design. They're green and sky blue, two inch, gorgeous. So if I didn't, I just did. And I don't remember if I did these pink ones. These pink ones are absolutely fantastic. I don't think I did these pink ones. These pink and black are stunning. Actually, they did come with this outfit. Hmm. You know what? I might need myself a pair of something like this. Now, every single pair of my earrings are a one-of-a-kind original, so I can't make myself one exactly like what I'm selling you. These don't sell. I could keep them. <laughs> so let's look up close. We've got the chrome tanned pink suede that's got black and a rose gold color changing. You sort of see it turns gold there, and then it's rose, and then it's gold. And in case you didn't see that, this pen is from RK Leather, because he also does turning. Anyway, get my face out of the way, pull that flat, there you go, see that line right there? Oh, there we go, it's really gold, and then it's pink, and then it's really gold. So it depends on how direct the sun hits it and which angle. Hello, Tony! Oh, I would love a pic of you with your earrings. I would love that. We can, um, if you just make sure when you send it, you say you give me written permission saying that you give me permission to use it. I'll be able to share it with everybody unless you don't want me to. And I'll just come look at it and I'll enjoy that too. <laughs> okay. So these pink ones have a beautiful little butterfly there and then on the backs, butterflies on the backs aren't they cute they're a little bit dusty i don't know how they got dusty if your suede's get these little spots all over them and whatnot all you need to do oh i see why it got dusty i just showed you all that leather um all you need to do is take your little brush you can purchase them on my site or you can purchase them at a suede and leather store they have different types of suede brushes Mine are small and designed for for this size instead of a big one. And so there you have it. It brushes away the dust. Makes them look so much better. And actually, you can use them on regular leather. Ever seen the shoe brushes when they're polishing and whatnot? You can use it on the regular leather as well to clean. Something gets stuck on it or something, you can just use that because it's soft enough, but it's hard enough. Making it shareable is not giving me written permission. I do need written permission. 
Um, so oh, I, I, I answered the question about repeating it. So if you're watching this and you can't see the comments, you don't know what I'm talking about. Um, and Tony said that she'll make her picture of her wearing it shareable so I can do what I want with it. But legally, because I'm a LLC and a business, I can't unless I have written permission. So all of those beautiful women, I thank all of you who have sent me pictures and said I could use them. I've been using you and showcasing you and with your earrings. And um, I just absolutely love that you let me show off how beautiful you are and how beautiful you make them look. Because it wouldn't look that good on um, one of those bald-headed styrofoam things, you know? <laughs> so using your face, your head, that really helps. And I appreciate it. And I love sharing your beautiful faces. <laughs> yes, just send me something in like instant messenger is fine. <laughs> That's fine. So this one is called uh, Dragonfly. It's very simple design. Yeah, in my head all the way. Just got that little dragonfly and a couple of reeds coming up and a beautiful, beautiful glass ball. Right? Beautiful. But here's the best part. Okay? Yeah, there's the best part. Look at what the backs look like. Mm hmm The backs are absolutely stunning. Now, why would I make the back so stunning and the fronts just so simple? Because look how beautiful and elegant. But if you have your hair pulled up, now notice when I turn my head, look at the ones that I went well. I've got the curls wrapped around it, so that's not going to help. So, get the curls out from behind it. There we go. So when I'm just moving around, see how they twist and turn and you can kind of see. So if you're looking at me from the side or if you're looking at me from behind, standing behind you in church, going up an escalator or something like that, you will see the backs of these. And when you see the backs, you want to see something nice. This pair has a beautiful metallic back. Nice detail. This one has a whole story on the back, which just makes it so much fun. Um, everyone loves the walk away earring. So the first one I did with this, I named it walk away because, hey, look, you can walk away and people can see this gorgeous design. And now everyone loves the walk away. They call it the walk away style because I look good coming and I look good walking away. <laughs> there you have it. So... Beautiful earrings right there. A lot of these have something on the back. If you haven't noticed, the butterflies' uh, wings had the design on the back as well. The pink ones had the little tiny butterfly on the back. And those just had a whole world on the back. These pink and green ones, I know I shared them last week, but I'm going to quick show them again. They also have some more ivy on the back. The ivy on the front is green. The ivy on the back is pink absolutely adorable all of those are two inch by the way um i don't know if i showed these i don't think i did these purple ones are definitely springtime they are screaming hey let me wear me with your spring outfit what are you wearing to church on easter sunday what are you wearing for palm sunday what are you wearing just work and stuff this spring, you know, all those new, new spring colors that are coming out. There's a lot of teals and purples. Um, and there's a lot of muted. So there's two like color groupings this summer. There's a lot of really muted colors and the muted and metallics kind of go together. But then there's these teals and purples that are also out there that are kind of more um, unicorn like. <laughs> So those are the two schools for this um, for this fall or spring. Wake up. Okay, I'm awake now. Um, okay, Tony, I'll see you next time. Tony's going to go. Um, so these are definitely for like the spring. They've got these beautiful metallic colors. There's three layers. There's that layer. There's that layer. And then there's the the metal. There you go. Okay. And then on the back. Yes, these are also ones with backs. Look at those. How much fun is that? Is it focusing? I can't tell. I'm squinting my eyes. So these have an entire bouquet on the back. So the front of them, beautiful. The back has another little world. 
different style intentionally because it is behind. So it's just something they're going to see a glimpse of and they're going to be like, oh, what's that? Oh, I want to see. So that's just a fun thing to have. Now this pair just has a plain white leather back. It's the off-white leather. Um, it's pretty white for off-white. I don't know. And the other side is metallic green. And on top of it is that black green that I was talking about at the beginning. And it is beautiful little dove holding a olive branch. So we've got the dove with the green and the metallic green that matches for the back. Let's see the black one. How beautiful is that? These are nice and, um, this is a veg tan, so it's not super bendy bendy. It's very solid and a little on the rigid side. Keeps this very rigid. Oh, and just put them in the opposite direction. Well, that works too. Now they're flying away. Catch up. <laughs> okay, so this week, I know I haven't showed you these yet because these just came out this week. Well, I showed you this pair. This was the one inch. It's made with this beautiful piece of leather in the back. It is hand dyed, right? But this feather in the front really kind of covers the whole thing. And then after making them, they came with the gold. So I went with the gold. I thought to myself, I'd rather see it copper. And because this, this covers the whole thing, I would rather see more of this with other things on it. So for the two inch, boom. We took and we made it copper, copper, and we put a dragonfly, a butterfly, all sorts of little, there's all sorts of that going on in that little world. It's an entire world. There's buds and there's flowers and there's grass and there's reeds and look at that little zoom from the dragonfly. I mean, just absolutely gorgeous nothing on the back sorry this whole line has nothing on the back but sonnet loves the dove the dove is available it's a two inch which is fun so these are two inch as well absolutely gorgeous now i haven't packed up yet but these have just sold so i haven't packed them up yet but these are sold these are the three inch I figured before I pack them, I'll pack them after the show. Um, before I packed them, I would definitely want to show them to everybody so you can see what you missed out on. These were up on Facebook and Instagram and YouTube and Rumble yesterday. Yesterday, and they're sold already. This is going to be a hot line. I think that if you like the one inch, two inch, or four inch, you better jump on as quick as you can because I think these aren't going to stick around. So, I can't seem to get this with a good light. There we go. Look at how gorgeous they are. And if you move the little, look at that little zoom from the dragonfly and the little buds and the, that's just beautiful. Sonnet wants them all. Sonnet, I am right there with you. I want them all as well. By the way, y'all, these are sonnets. She bought them. Yep. She's the one who snatched them up. <laughs> and it was hard to choose, I'm sure, because don't we all want them all? Now, the four inch, that little feather, like, the feather kind of overwhelmed this one. That little feather didn't fit at all on the 4-inch because it was just getting lost. It looked silly. So the 4-inch, I went with these beautiful beads. It's a stoneware bead and two hand-blown glass beads, all done with copper work. So it's got the copper at the top, copper bail, and copper wiring. So I made all of these little chump hoops all the way down the NT. All in copper. I'm squinting my eyes like that's going to make the camera focus. If I get my face out of the way, it focuses. That's what works. Isn't that gorgeous? And we've got these little bubbles and dots and buds and flowers and bees and butterflies and dragonflies all over this one. And these, the way the 
light goes through these glass beads and just the, the detail on that stoneware bead amazing 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 mm. so that's the four inch and that's all of them that's it I'm getting no more we looked at them all oh turtle tortoise turtle I call it a turtle it's not a pointed out it's a tortoise on my mug that's a sticker. It's dishwasher safe. It's been on my mug for two years now. So um, it's gone through the dishwasher multiple times. It's still stuck on there nice and solid and smooth edge. It's getting a little bit discolored along the edge. That's the only thing that's been happening. But this is two years now. Pretty good. So if you uh, want a good quality sticker, that's dishwasher safe. There's that. There's a squirrel. There's a bunch of dings on my phone. I wonder if you guys can hear that. I always find that funny that people don't do their um, do not disturb mode when they're filming. And here I didn't do it. But I wanted to jump on before we lost power. I'm worried about that tonight. Um, lots and lots of snow. Can't wait to show you guys pictures when it's sunny tomorrow. If I dare go out in it. <laughs> it's, ugh, snow. Lily won't go out in it. Um, so that's what we have so far. It's really weird doing them on Tuesday nights because Thursday nights, like I said, I have them all done and we finish up the week. And now we've only got like, it's only Tuesday night. I still have days left of making and working and doing. And so I'll save them for next week and we'll look again next week and maybe I'll even drop what I'm doing and start working with some of these beautiful I do not have a fireplace um, I made a fake one in the kitchen <laughs> the kitchen used to have a space heater slash gas stove so it was a heater and so where that was I built a fireplace around to hide the, the in the plaster wall and everything and um, so I built that around the stove so the stove looks like it's set into an oven <laughs> Or look like it's set into a fireplace. So that's kind of fun. But no, I don't. I actually do have my, I do have a gas stove. It is set on low right now. It's it's on low, low heat. So it is heating the house in case the power goes out. I do still have that as a heater. And uh, as long as that stays lit, we keep it going. You know, as long as that pilot light in there is going, we're going. So we're good with that. Um... I've got candles. I've got one sitting right here. Just in case. So the power goes out, I'm going to be like, okay, now I'm in the dark with just a little flicker. Um, <laughs> so if that's a thing. Um, I don't think it's going to go out. I think we're going to be good. I, I, I'm not too worried. I just already know that, that so many people are without power around me. And so I'm very fortunate to still have power. Yay. And I'm so fortunate to have all this new leather that I showed you. If you guys want to see it, who are joining now, watch the beginning because, wow, all that new leather. So maybe we can make some fun new things with it. Definitely going to stay on the earthy side for a little while. I, I think these are selling well. Um, so we're going to go with it. Tell me what you want. I want to give it to you. You know? You know. All right, Lily, come say goodbye. Come on. Come on. You gotta jump behind me. I'm sitting on the edge of this, so you can jump up at any time you want. Come on. <laughs> Come on. There you go. You know the rules. You know the rules. Oh, we gotta move the phone over a little. There we go. You know the rules. Say hi. Aww. <laughs> hey, I see that. Hey. So, okay, say bye's on it. Say bye's on it. My phone keeps freezing. It might be me. It might be me because I'm in the middle of this storm. So, it might not be you. It might just be my broadcast is freezing. So, say goodbye. Bye. Oh, don't growl your teeth. 
Don't growl. <laughs> are you smiling or are you growling? I can't tell. You think you're smiling. You think you're smiling. <laughs> so, so bye. We'll see you guys um later. I don't know when. When? Next Tuesday, I guess. I don't think I have anything else planned. Uh, oh, here's a sneak peek. Are you ready for this? Next week, we're going to do a giveaway. Next week, giveaway. Get excited. It's going to be a good one. Okay.